Hi guys, we're back again and I'm going to introduce you to another one of my horses in the barn that I ride in my performance horse program. His name is CT. Now CT is a five-year-old gelding. Uh, he's by a horse called Dulray, which has been a real popular cut and horse sire over the years and he's out of an own daughter, a highbrow cat. He's a five-year-old gelding owned by Melissa and Tom Sims. Really a nice horse, very interactive with a cow, really likes cows. His best event is going down the fence. I did not train this horse initially. I bought him as a three-year-old after the futurity from a guy called Ty Benson. Ty Benson's an excellent cow horse trainer, sells a lot of high-end cutting horses, two-year-olds and cow horse two-year-olds, so a very good trainer. He's the one that actually trained this horse, so he gets most of the credit or all the credit really for training this horse on a cow. And CT's been good for me because he's taught me quite a bit about working cattle and how they're supposed to feel and what they're supposed to do. So I like this horse. Things that, that are really unique about this particular horse, well first of all he's just pretty. Just look at this thing. Like he has just got a real lot of sex appeal to this thing. He's just beautiful. Do you see how much my horses shine? That's what I talk about. We don't brush our horses that much. I talked about what Gordon McKinley taught me when I was a kid. When you want a horse to shine, brush them from the inside out, which is what you feed them is what makes them shine. So between Stanley Alfalfa products, Stanley Hay, Smart Pack, and the molasses tubs that I put inside their stalls 24-7, those three companies is what makes them shine. We actually don't brush them very much at all, okay? What makes them shine is from the inside out. That's the whole key. So he's drop dead gorgeous. He's a great athlete. Uh, he really tries hard. He's been good for me and I look forward to showing him some more and continuing my experience with him. Oh yeah, dad. <laughs> he's just a cool horse. Like just overall, he's just a cool horse. Oh yeah, dad. I, I'm a bit of a neck man myself, dad. Every horse has got their itchy spots. Some it's on their withers, you know, some it's on their chest here. He likes it on his neck and his chest. Okay, every horse is just a little bit different, but the most important thing you can do with a horse is the, is the first two or three minutes you interact with them, and the last two or three minutes that you interact with them, just love on a little bit. Scratch them a little bit, just spend some quality time with them, and you'll be amazed. The last thing you do to a horse is the first thing you're going to remember the next day. So if the last thing you do with them is just loving on them, scratching on them, find out what their itchy spot is, whether it's under their belly, under their tail, on their neck. Some horses love fingernails on their necks. Just find out what floats their boat and what turns them on and do that for the last three or four minutes and you'll be amazed how much easier they are to catch the next day because they're looking forward to you putting your fingernails on them and scratching them. Looking for inspiration? Follow us on Instagram. We'll take you with us and share the moments that make the method.